Hi guys, welcome to US Immigration Hub channel. If you are new to this channel, my name is Liman and I make videos for a family based immigration to simplify the complicated immigration process. If you watch my videos very carefully, you will make your immigration journey less stressful. My channel has all the videos you need to complete your immigration process for immigrant and non-immigrant visas. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe, share, and hit notification bell, and give us a big like so YouTube can share the video with more people and we help uh, other people. First of all, I am not an attorney. I'm here to help you based on my personal immigration journey and also based on the information I have from USCIS and NBC websites. And also based on my experience with my subscribers. I really have a good feedback from them. So if you're ready, let's get started. In today's video, we're gonna talk about how to submit NVC expedite request. And also we're gonna have a sample letter at the end of this video. So I would like to mention something at the beginning of this video. It is hard to expedite your case at NVC. I'm not discouraging you, but it is hard. But if you have a valid reason, your request will be approved. So let's talk about the requirement. So the requirement is the visa must be available for your relative. The second thing, your case must involve a life or death medical emergency. So, and then you submit your in, uh, you submit your uh, request to NVC expedite at state.gov. It must be uh, your uh, your letter must uh, include a physician or medical facility contact information and declare a life or death medical emergency exist. So if you don't have this, as I said at the beginning of this video, you are not be able to expedite your case. So, and also your new letter, you must include your case or your receipt number and one of the following, petitioner, petitioner's name and date of birth, beneficiary's name and date of birth and invoice ID number. If your case is not, I'm sorry, if your visa is not available, unfortunately, NVC will not expedite your case at any circumstances. So it's the law and they tell you right here. In 1952, uh, it, visa process is governed by the Immigration and Nationality Act of 1952 as amended, which controls availability, availability of visas. There is no provision within the law that would allow the Department of State to issue a visa to someone for whom a visa is unavailable. So just don't waste your time. If they say no, is a no. So now let's talk about the first requirement, which is visa availability. For immediate relatives of US citizen, such as spouse of US citizen, and married child under the age of 21 of US citizen, and parent of, of a US citizen who is at least 21 years old, those the visa is always available. So if you have a good medical reasons, you can expedite your case. So for the other uh, family-based uh, preference categories, such as F1, F2A, F3, F4, the, uh, the priority date must be current and your case is at NVC. So there is the family sponsor, F1, F2A, F2B, F3 and F4. As I said, your uh, priority date has to be current and also your case has to be at NVC. So it's not and there is an example. If your case here is current, but you are not at NVC stage, you can do nothing. So must be current and your case at NVC. So you already start the process at NVC. Now you can start, uh, you, you can do a request if you have a, a valid uh, reasons. So if one, I'm going to talk all around the world except uh, China, India, Mexico and Philippines. For F1, an example is 1st September 2017. If 2A is current, if 2B, it's uh, 1st uh, January 2017, F3 is uh, 
1st March 2010 and A4 is 1st March 2010. This is for July. I know this will be changed. So this is for July. So now let's go to a valid and uh, for uh, the second requirement. The second requirement is you must have a valid reason for expedite. As I said at the beginning of the video, if you don't have a, a good uh, valid reason to expedite, NVC will not accept it. It's not just you have a medical, you have a valid reasons. It must be supported. If you're using a medical, medical reason, it must be supported by a physician or a medical facility that uh, support your medical reason. So, first one is a petitioner has a severe medical conditions, life or death, medical emergency. Let's talk about one. An example right here, it's, it's, it's uh, same as a uh, pregnancy. And it's just an example. If a petitioner gives a birth with complication and she cannot work anymore, or it's gonna take a long time to get back to work. So in this case, the petitioner can expedite the, uh, the case at NVC. So this is just an example right here. I put it right here. And also there is another one right here, urgent humanitarian reasons is abroad as well. Financial hard, uh, hardship, it's uh, also is, is, is abroad. One tax is clear right here, delays by the National Visa Center. If NVC makes a mistake in your case, you can expedite your case. So you're gonna choose one that apply for you. If you see it, it's a valid reason, you can expedite your case. So now let's go on how to expedite or how to make an NVC expedite request. I already talked about that right here. One tax I wanna mention right here. So you have a valid now, you have a valid, uh, your visa is available, and we talked about that. Now, you, uh, your case involves a life or death medical emergency. You have that with a supporting document for your doctor or a medical facility. And though, I think I forgot to mention this. This uh, physician or medical facility that supports your medical reasons, you must have, must include the physician contact information and they support your medical emergency. So I already talked about that. So now let's go to a sample letter. This is a sample letter, a sample letter right here. So at the top, email two is nv6padite at state.gov. And also uh, subject is a request for nv6padite for case number. You're gonna put this number right here. And uh, nv6 case number, the beneficiary for name you got a first name and last name. The be beneficiary's date of birth must be a month, day, and a year. And the beneficiary telephone number, the petitioner's full name, uh, petitioner's name is going to be full name, first and last. And the petitioner's date of birth, same same thing, is going to be a month, a year, uh, I'm sorry, ma month, day, and a year. And the petitioner telephone number. So we're still talking about the sample letter. So you're right. I am the petitioner, my name is, you're gonna put full name, and I'm writing to request and expedite the case of my spouse. You're gonna put the, the visa type right here, and you get to put the full name of the beneficiary with NVC case number. Do not forget your case number, always include it, because I'm facing the reason of the request. So, and then you're gonna go to the body right here, here where you have to be creative and answer the information about uh, your expedite reason with medical supporting uh, your request reasons. Even you do that in the body of your uh, letter, you must include another letter from your physician or medical facility that support your, uh, your medical reason with the contact information and a certificate that support your request reason as a medical emergency. If your visa been a long time in NVC, you can include the timelines for the beneficiary. And then you say thank you for your consideration and sincerely petition name, uh, phone name, and the phone number. So after now, uh, that's timeline after submitting your expedite request. 
After submitting your expedite request to NVC, it will be assigned to an agent to look into your expedite request. If your case is eligible for expedite, they will respond within two weeks and they will tell you that your expedite is approved and they will forward your case to your embassy or consulate in your country to get a slot for interview. To schedule an interview, it takes from one, from one month to three months. We saw some cases that have a, re, that have a, a valid reason and NVC see it as, uh, as a good reason, they will do this. They will send it right away to, interview, to your consulate in your country to schedule an interview. However, if your case is eligible, they see it is a good, but they still need some information from you, they will send you an email requesting that information. Last thing, if your case is not eligible, if they see your case, if they see your reason, your request is not a good reason, they will send you an email telling you that your case is not eligible for expedite and you're going to have a big no. So at this point, you can do nothing. So just you got to wait your turn. So uh, this is the end of this video. I hope you like it. If you do, please subscribe, share and hit notification bell. Thank you and see you in the next video.